Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read the problem, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so we're told that a study was designed to test the effectiveness of a new drug. Half the volunteers received the drug. So that's a probability. Let's write that down. We've got the probability that you get a drug, in this case, is one half, or 0.5. The other half received a sugar pill. Okay. I don't know if that's relevant yet. I'm just writing this down as I go. So you got one or the other. The probability of a volunteer receiving the drug and getting well was 40%. Okay, so the probability that you receive a drug and get well, so that's the intersection, that is 40%, 0 0.4. What is the probability of a volunteer getting well given that the volunteer received the drug? Okay, so we're looking for this probability that you get well and it's given that you received the drug. Well, that probability is simply going to be the probability of getting well and receiving the drug. Now, I said it backwards, but we had the same idea, drug and getting well, getting well and drug, same idea. Uh, so that's the point four that we already have, divided by the probability of getting the drug. That's it. And this just goes back to the idea that the probability of B given A equals the probability of A and B, or B and A, divided by the probability of A. This is our definition right here. And that definition comes from the fact that the probability of A times the probability of B given A equals the probability of A and B. It's, it's all tied together. Long story short, this just means that our probability is 0.4 divided by 0.5, which is 0.8. So, 80%. That's it. All right, hope that helps.